Hi guys and welcome back to my vlog, um, the Sew It Yourself Challenge. Uh, it's nice to be back again. Sorry I wasn't here last week. Uh, last week was a bit of a write-off from one thing or the other. And yeah, so didn't get as much sewing done as I wanted to last week or much of anything. But this week's been a lot better. Um, yeah, so I hope you you've all had a good week and i thought i'd do something a bit different for this vlog and i thought you could join in with me making my moneta because if you haven't seen already it's all over instagram the moneta party is this weekend so this should be up this weekend hopefully so i can keep you company while you sew your moneta hopefully and uh yeah and this is my first ever one so it's a little bit scary for me, but I'm getting better with Jersey, so that's good, and it's all good practice. Um, yeah, so a, um, a lot of this will be time lapse because it'll just take forever. Um, but I shall stop at points and show you what I'm doing and where I'm going wrong or where I'm going right. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. I have my tea or calming tea which is probably what I need right now and my boom mug yeah <laughs> um, and also my hubby must have known I've been having a bad day because he got me a big bag of pick mix yeah so I'm sorted um, yeah cheers <laughs> so um, for my fabric that I picked for my Manetta, I've gone with this gorgeous, oh it's all cut out by the way, you don't have to watch any of that. I find it boring, you'll find it boring, and it's very stressful with all these stripes. But yeah, this is um, the, oh this is from Girl Charlie, sorry, and it is, yeah, it's a really nice stable jersey. I thought it'd be better to go with this than um, my last choice. <laughs> and yeah, so we're gonna go with this. We're gonna have some fun. Lots of pattern matching with these stripes, but wish me luck. So I have just attached the front and the back bodice pieces together, I've used my overlocker, it seems to be going quite well and I've just flat inserted the, flat inserted? Inserted the sleeve, um, yeah and it seems to, yeah, no complaints so far, uh, hopefully touch wood, I'll carry on. Hi guys, this is probably about 45 minutes later and a considerable amount of gummy sweets um, my camera cut out. So I have skipped ahead a little bit and we have now joined up the front and back pieces by the armhole so I have a bodice piece now. Um, I've tried it on and I have needed to take it in a little bit under the arms because I've got quite skinny arms and it was yeah looking a bit baggy under there so I've taken that in a little bit and I think next time I do it I'm going to extend the body a little bit because it feels quite cropped I know it's a dress but when um, the waist feels a bit higher than mine is because I'm quite tall 
and but I think I'll get away with just do, taking a tiny amount off the seam. Well, I won't take any off for the seam allowance, so um, that should be okay. So my next step is to hem the neckline and the sleeves, I believe. And I have my sewing machine set up and it has a walking foot and a twin needle already, so that should do me. And yeah, I really recommend this fabric by the way, if, if you're a jersey beginner, beginner in jersey. Beginner, so we're in Jersey. If you're not used to Jersey, <laughs> this fabric is really good. It's lovely and stable, and um, yeah, compared to other jerseys I've worked with, this is really easy. <laughs> so yeah, very good. I will pop a link below. I don't know if they'll still have this one at Girl Charlie, but they definitely will have similar. So uh, yes, highly recommend. So I have um, hemmed the arms and the neckline seems to have gone alright, no stretching which is like a first for me and yeah I think I should have given myself a little bit, probably should have measured and pinned but I'm tired and <laughs> um, yeah I've been naughty so I just felt the hem all the way around and I've just caught it so I'm very lucky can you see that? Ooh. and sleeves went well but I don't know I think because of the pattern matching because I've tried to pattern match I went a little bit wrong on one of the sleeves so Ooh. we have a brown end and a grey end <laughs> but I don't mind it's a wearable twelve so I'm happy with that I'm going to call it a night for tonight I shall see you in the morning we'll do a little future hi guys it's day two of me making up my Minetta dress for the Minetta party um, as you can see it's daylight now so we've got better lighting and um, I have just dropped off my little man at nursery so I have two hours in which I can sew interrupted, uninterrupted even <laughs> and um, yeah I've just forgotten about the housework so let's just glaze over that one and yes yeah, so hopefully I shall get it done before I have to go pick him up but if not you might be seeing me again this evening. <laughs> So wish me luck, I've got tea and toast ready, so yeah, let's crack on. Right, so this is what I've learned today. I cannot sew well when I have a time limit. In these two hours that I have been here, so many things have gone wrong. <laughs> uh, my needle was blunt, I think, so I had to change that twice. Um, my I didn't place pockets in the right way, in the right place, so I need to redo that. Just bobbin was running out so all the stitches have been skipping and then I had to change that so yeah I think there'll be a little bit of unpicking this evening and then you'll be joining me again <laughs> but that's life 
of a sewer and a mum because I've got to go pick up my little boy now <laughs> and I could do with a cup of tea <laughs> but yeah hope yours goes better than mine's been going but I think it'll be fine just get the unpicker out so <sighs> never mind right after so much unpicking an unbelievable amount of unpicking I have a manetta I unpicked well, first off, I thought it was a good idea to overlock the pockets and the skirt together. It's not. I then unpicked all the overlocking, which takes forever, and then um, overlocked the edges just to neaten them up, and then zigzag stitched them, which I think the instructions actually do tell you to do, but I am bad for glancing over stuff. So, yes, next time I shall do it that way. And because I didn't have any elastic and I haven't managed to find any um, in my local town, I decided to use uh, the gathering technique, which if you look on So Essentials blog, um, Lucy on there has done a beautiful example of a dress done with that in that way and actually it works really well I'm not quite sure why you need the elastic because it's as long as you cut out your gathers you've still got the stretch so um, which I found quite easy and yeah but next time I am not going to use stripes because why, why did I do that? <laughs> Why Why on my first ever Minetta did I choose to do stripes? Because there's so much pattern matching. Um, but overall, I am pretty happy with it. One of my pockets is slightly smaller than the other. I could just about get my hand in. But there you go. And um, But the fit's really nice and the length's really nice. I'm actually pretty pleased with the waist as well. doesn't look too high. So, yeah. All in all, I'll give you a twirl in the morning, so yay, I'm happy. Night. Oh, I'm going to have a gin right now, maybe some pizza, because that is a party after all. Bye. So I hope yours is going better than mine did. I hope, I'm probably a bit flushed right now as well. It's quite warm, quite late, but... It's been a learning curve and I definitely know what I would do next time differently. But that's how I learn. That's just me. Okay. Night everyone. Hi guys. So here she is at last. My Manetta. She's literally just come off the sewing machine. But um, I'm glad I stuck with it because I actually really like it. Um, yeah, this is one of those makes that... If it could go wrong, it did go wrong, but I'm glad I stuck with it because I think I'll definitely be making more of these. I really love the shape and the fit, and yeah, it's so comfortable. So, yeah, perseverance pays out in the end. But um, I definitely need to build up my confidence with my sewing machine because she's still new and I forget that, and I need to learn all the tricks and things that I need to set her to and all those things but yeah definitely helps me learning making all these mistakes but yeah big thumbs up from me and yeah I'll do a 12 